Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. In today's video, I wanna talk about the Pioneer Adjustable Lever, which as the name applies, is an adjustable lever belt. I mean, it doesn't get any more specific than that, but up until today, actually, this was not an item that you could find online to order. It's now available on the Pioneer website. I'll link that in the description box below and also let you know that if you use code BASEMENT, you can save 10% off of this or anything you buy from that site always. So if you want a, a belt, straps, wraps, a wallet, who knows, you can buy it from them and save 10% if you use my code. And if you do, I appreciate it. But I've been using this the last couple of weeks. Obviously, I haven't made a video because I couldn't tell you to go and buy it anywhere because it wasn't available. It's not like some of the stuff out there, which before might be out of stock, but I could still point you to a web address. I couldn't do that before. So I wanted to kind of hold off and also get some use under my belt with it. You like that? It's a good play on words for this. Now, I will do a more in-depth video on this a little bit later where I'll talk about this compared to a lot of the other belts I own from single prong to pioneer cut to my standard lever and kind of tell which belt is best for who and what you could should consider. Because in this instance, I just want to share my general thoughts because if you're watching this, you're probably pretty interested in this anyways. And I think it's a pretty unique offering. Now, even though this isn't the first adjustable lever that's on the market, I think it's probably the best option for most people. And I'm saying that because if you look at the other option up until now, you had to go with the SBD belt. Now notice there I said SBD belt and not the SBD lever, because in that instance, you not only have to buy the lever from them, but you have to buy the entire belt. So it's a complete package, which I understand because they want to patent and they want to protect their design. But in reality, most of us already probably own a couple of belts and we don't want to spend $230, which the SBD belt costs on a brand new one. Not to mention, there's a couple of problems with that in my opinion. Number one, you've probably spent a lot of time and effort breaking in your existing belts. You've also probably spent a lot of money on the belt you have, especially if you have like a Pioneer one that has any kind of customization on it. And speaking of customization, one of the downsides of the SBD is you don't really have any options for that. For their belt, it's $230, it's black leather outside, red suede inside, silver buckle on the front, and 13 millimeters. You want 10 millimeters? Too bad. You want a different color of leather? Too bad. You want a different color suede on the inside? No options as of yet. And they haven't done that in a couple of years. At least with their singlets and their knee sleeves, which they do the same things on where almost everything's just black and red as standard and occasionally they'll have some limited releases of other colors. With the belts, they haven't done that to this point or even offered a 10 millimeter option. So it's kind of tough pill to swallow for a lot of people because you're locked into not only that belt, that system, but that cost as well. And where the Pioneer belt really sets itself apart in my opinion is number one, it's not the belt, it's the lever you're buying. So again, $65, if you have a Pioneer belt already, you just adapt it like I have here. So I've owned this belt for several years. I just went ahead and did undid a couple of screws and put this new adjustable lever on, good to go. The nice thing about this too is it's not just for Pioneer belts. So if you have an Inzer belt, a Titan belt, pretty much any lever belt out there uses the same hole pattern, you could adapt this to it. Now it might take a little bit of extra work because some of the holes people use are different sizes. In most cases, the holes will need to be made bigger, but in my experience, it's always good to have a hole that's too small than one that's too big. Those are a lot harder to work with. So I've seen these on Inzer belt, I've seen these on Titan belts. Uh, and again, just takes a little bit of effort to get them in, but once it does, a nice snug fit. And again, you get that nice adjustability here, which for me has really come into play. So for instance, when I'm working out with this, one of the things that I've really enjoyed is I'm the type of person who likes to throw in a belt for squats and deadlifts as I'm warming up. So, you know, in my second or third warm up set, I usually like to get a belt on and I normally don't really tighten it too much. In fact, a lot of times with my previous lever, I would just leave it unclasped and it still kind of is a cue for me to really brace hard. With this adjustable lever belt, what I can do is actually put it on one of the bigger settings and clasp it and kind of work my way up until I get to the tightest setting that I want and I'll use those for my main working set. So that's really nice in that regard. And in some instances, if I'm doing a lot of rep work, I don't want a super tight fit. I wanna be able to breathe a little bit because this can get pretty uncomfortable. So with the adjustability of this belt, that can really, really help. Another thing that it can really help for is if you like to wear this belt for different positions when you're doing different lifts. So for example, for squats, I like to wear my belt pretty low. So down kind of like where my belly button's right in the middle. But for deadlifts, I know a lot of people like to move their belt up a little bit, so it's more kind of the belly buttons at the bottom of the belt, so it's up higher on your sternum. The problem with a fixed lever belt or a traditional lever belt is that tightness that you want down here, if you get a really tight fit, it's probably gonna be too tight to cinch when it's up here. Now again, the nice thing with this belt is, is you can actually go wider or smaller depending on how your body type is. Hopefully most of us that lift, we're gonna 
taper down so your waist is going to be smaller and get bigger as it goes up towards your torso. But during these COVID times, I understand some people tend to taper the other way, which is fine. But for example, I could have the tightest fitting down here and it's a really nice tight fit. Obviously, as I move up and my huge lats get in the way, I can't get close to closing, but I could go with one of the smaller settings and still cinch it and still have a really tight fit that way. So you have some adjustability in that sense. And I think that's really going to come in key for people. Another thing that could be beneficial, which doesn't really impact me as much being in the basement. And by the way, if you didn't know, the basement is much more preferable than the garage. And as I put on my nice little sweater here, and normally people watch videos on the internet of people taking off their clothes and not putting them on. And I'm having a very Mr. Rogers moment right now, getting ready. You can now put your belt easily over a sweatshirt or other clothes as you bundle up in the winter. And again, the adjustability allows you to go a little bit bigger if you need to. Where in the past, you would probably have to put this under your sweatshirt or take off some of those layers so it can fit. So at the end of the day, if you're interested in a lever belt that's adjustable and you already own a lever belt, this is a very good option. Again, it retails for $65 minus 10% if you use the code basement. It works for not only Pioneer belts, but also works for Titan, Inzer, Strength Shop, whatever you can think of. And for that kind of money, I think it's a great investment, especially because you don't have to actually buy a brand new belt like you would with the SBD. And if you go with the Pioneer stuff, you get a lot of customization. So your belt can really be your belt. So as I said, I'll do a more in-depth review of this later. I'll compare it to all the other belts I own from the Pioneer Cut to the standard prong to the standard lever. And I'll tell you who is best fit for who. Fitting, talking about belts, obviously. But if you have any questions that you'd like to see answered in that video or that I didn't answer here, leave them in the comment section below. But in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.